Hey everybody, welcome back. This episode is going to be the instructional video on how to upgrade the amount of video and pictures that your DJI Pro 4 is able to take. What you're going to need for this is the remote, cell phone, or whatever you're going to use to monitor what your drone sees, your drone itself, a sharp knife, and I'm recommending the 100 megabytes a second 64 uh, gigabyte memory cards. I've heard of people using 128 gigs in this, but I've heard that they sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Um, as well, make sure you're getting the 100 megabytes, nothing less, because that's the max amount of data that your drone is able to transfer from the camera into your memory card, and you don't want it to be too slow and have skips in your video. So, uh, first thing, we're going to remove the gimbal guard, always. We're going to insert the battery. I have a full battery as you can see here. Oop, all right, that's on. Turn on the remote. Whatever cell phone you're using, I guess I should have said you need the cable as well. We are going to turn on the DJI Go 4 app. Enter device. Plug in the back of your USB to the remote. All right, it automatically came up as aircraft status. That's cool. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of this thing, you're going to see it says remaining SD card capacity. You have the ability to format the card if you want once you download the videos from it. I personally take the card out and put it into one of these adapters and just put it into the side of the laptop. I think the transfer is a little faster. As you can see here, it's giving you a reading, and that's uh, 14,265 MB. That equates to roughly 14 gigs of space. Now that is a lot, but this has the ability to record in 4K at 60 frames a second, and those files are gigantic. So what we're going to do is replace that card with what DJI recommends is a 64-bit card. Now your card is located on the side of the drone right here. Simply push that, red light's blinking, you can take that out. Sharp knife time. You're going to need one to get this out. I guess I should say this is for entertainment purposes only. If you cut yourself doing this, it's on you, man, not me. All right, that's one way to get it out. This is the adapter. This part goes in here. I got it backwards. Like that. And that whole thing goes in your computer. However, into the drone. And push it until it clicks in. It's in green light that means it accepted it and now you're gonna see that change here 60,748 megabytes that means it's roughly 60 gigs this says 64 gigs so it's not completely accurate this is probably accurate this is probably not so that's it now you know how to change out the video card and upgrade the amount of memory that your drone has and you can take plenty of 4k pictures now that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back in a couple days with um, another video. The next one's going to be just on basic flight modes.